Let's finish off the second level of Crucy, which is Round Rule, of course. Um, Round Rule is definitely not going to be, wow, not going to be happy about these starting passives. <laughs> I'll take a Sprouting because it's probably a fine chunk of extra cash, but I feel like Molten Gold would just be better. Like, <laughs> even getting it as the first passive, it just doesn't feel like it's good enough. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, Round Rule is definitely going to be much sadder about the crit removal as well. The land can't wait for it, and Round Rule is, uh, I'd say not looking forward to it. The crit stuff from Round Rule did recently get quite a decent chunk better, thanks to effective criticism. Because, of course, the more of those, like, single effects that you add, the better all of the effects become. And there are just a lot in the game right now, and makes it quite solid. Especially with the um, heavy hand improvement as well. The fact that you can hit crits twice is a really big deal for all that crit stuff. Uh, 60 cash. So because we've got... Uh, what's it called? Sprouting. I really did want to try and boost up our cash as much as possible. Imagine this was enough. It's nowhere near enough, of course, but imagine it was. Uh, hello? Thank you. You know what? Bombulet's actually pretty cool. Plus two cash, yeah. That's around about what I thought. There may only be one extra bomb here, but it's still nice. Okay. It works. I mean, like, one extra bomb here actually matters quite a big deal. It changes how I can play this map. That's cool. Oh, I didn't actually plan on hitting that just yet. Oh well. Fight's over. 100 cash though, like, sign me up. Oh, come on, the order. So unfortunate. I don't believe that works, but um, obviously I will be taking it because it's by far the best passive there. And then it is just subtle sling. It's good tempo early on. So I don't get any cash if I go this way. But I will just go this way because I want to. <laughs> I just don't feel like going to the fight. Plus zero, yeah. Unfortunately, it's not a minimal one. I feel like it should be a minimal one. It wouldn't even make the passive that much stronger, but I feel like it should be. Uh, I didn't need to do that. I could have removed... Uh, yeah. It's definitely not a bad upgrade. It's... Wait. Does it work? Oh, it does work. Oh, I, I was under the impression that it didn't work. Oh. Well, that's cool. Also, we managed to hit, like, three bombs once. Yeah, okay. Wow. That's uh, really handy. That means that that first shot, first of all, matters a lot. But also, like, he's just kind of dead. He's taken a bit too much health already. <laughs> oh, that bramble. It was actually really nice, because I was... Okay, no. Yeah, like, that bramble actually saved me some uh, health there. Good stuff. Oh, did I just miss that? <laughs> oh my god. 17 pollution died away. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I didn't realize it worked like that. So Criticris is an insane passive and all, but this is an insanely early grinding monster. I think I'd be a bit nuts to turn it down, even for a Criticris. Criticris is really good if you can find more synergies for it. If you can't find more synergies for it, though, it's actually not that good, so I'm very justified in turning it down. There's a lot of bombs, by the way. That does make doing what we want to do a bit harder, but I don't really care how long I uh, drag the fight on. God, there is a lot of bombs down there. Huh. I mean, Transparency usually is a cool debuff, but I definitely don't care about it too much right now. Boom. Great stuff. Yeah, bomb bullet, bomb battle already, and the fact that the order works in any way, I feel like that might have been bug fixed. Like, I feel like at a point in the past, it did not work this way, <laughs> and that's why I was so confused. I may be wrong, but uh, I had to have gotten this idea from somewhere. <laughs> yeah, we just hit bombs until they die, and then they just die. You're joking. That is crazy. A bit higher, thank you, so that we do that. Decoy orb as well? We were in such an insane spot. We have Bombula plus... Uh, oh my god, what? What what's happened? Hello? God, all we need is like enhanced dead properly. Okay, I'm 
free orb removal, don't mind if I do. Uh, one passive in the store. That's tempting, you know. You know what else is tempting? Not doing that. The more fights I get, the better. I did do a very ambiguous shot there, though. I would have happily gone either way. Uh, it's not bad. It's pretty solid, for sure. I would have loved it to be a level 3, but... I didn't exactly sink any early upgrades into it. This is so much max health. Like, we've already got an apple a day. Maybe more, right? That is crazy. This is area 1. Jeez. Yeah, let's just not take any more hits. And we've got so many crits on the board now, like... This is just so good. Uh, I could do an upgrade, but I won't. 111 max health already. Okay. So it's literally already an apple a day, and it's going to get me so much more. The fact that I hit Soul Shaker immediately afterwards is silly. It's extremely, extremely silly. I'm not complaining that I... Whoa! That's crazy, man. Uh-huh, at least we get a crit here. Dodge. Okay. Um, there's a lot of things... There's a lot of ways we can find more shovel. An extra crit on the board would be cool. Man, I find it funny that we already found Critic Crit Synergy. It usually takes much longer to find Critic Crit Synergy, but we would have already found it. I mean, we didn't pick it up though, so it doesn't exactly matter. And now we have Decoy preventing the turn as well, like... Jeez. I was going to say he's never been more dead, but he definitely has been more dead before. Pretty sure I've killed the Area 1 boss in turn 1 multiple times. Okay, maybe not multiple times, but I'm pretty sure I've done it before. Rob was always fun. I picked it up last run, but last time because hmm, Hecklons or Sapper. I actually kind of like Sapper because I've got a lot of stuff. But uh, yeah, I like Sapper until I realized it'll be throwing because <laughs> it really would be. What if we take this? There's the money orbs. It's really not that good, but the other stuff isn't either. Like, hmm, I don't know. I don't like this pick, especially since I got some garbage orbs here, as you can see. Okay, not actually that bad. I'm not complaining too much. It's not the best, and I would have rather pick up so many other boss passives. But it's whatever. Like two extra refreshes? Sure, I guess. There's just so many bombs, like we just obliterate it and he's so easily. Actually crazy. Base 304 damage, don't mind if I do. That looks like a way going right. I mean, left is tending because we have three hits for spring, uh, sprouting. But I'll pass because... Uh, uh, because maybe I won't pass, you know? Maybe, okay, no. I go right, nice. Cool. I accept. Free cookie is free cookie. Short fuse is short fuse. These are some really decent passives, especially since I already have these two, actually. It's actually nuts how much AoE we have access to now. Um... Oh no, I did one immediate kills. Good. Good, because I'm definitely going to get them. <laughs> definitely going to get them. Ah, uh, yeah, I want more bombs. Like, hitting short fuse was actually so nice. It just means that we get to hit our bombs. And you'll see here... Hmm, I really want this to smack into him. I should get not get two bombs apparently. That's unfortunate. I would have enjoyed it, but he's only got 450 health. That's not even that much. Oh, and this was the best possible elite fight for us to get by a mile, because of course the max health. It's just so much max health. Man, this was kind of a brutal fight. I just massacred them. Got such good stuff going on. Imagine I get your refreshers move as well. And I can discard; they don't even take a turn. Which allows me to get more greed. Maybe it's not even more greed. I mean, look, it's a really good buy, so we'll just buy it. But I would have enjoyed not buying it. Okay. Yeah, that sounds pretty decent. Sure. I'm doing that, I think. Obviously, I'm just buying everything, but I'm also buying this. Oh. I'm not just doing it, apparently. Yeah, we have short enhanced now. It's a, a really, really good combo. Like, boom. Fight's over. Go home.
Jeez. We even picked up an Eye of Turtle, so our boss passive options are way better. Oh no, I took two health loss. Whatever will I do? I'm sitting at 143 max health and it's only going up. And I found an enemy dictionary. Oh my lord. Uh, obviously I'm going to wait on this. If I get your bombs give cash, I get a lot more cash there. Uh, my 71 max HP when I have such massive HP gains is extremely tempting, but I think I'm just fine with where I am. Although I would love to go this way, so that is actually kind of unfortunate. Bad shot, but it works out. House, not bad, not bad. Oh, pocket watch, yuck. I dislike the sound. <laughs> I'm sure it generates you any amount of extra damage, but uh, yeah. Boom. Um, we're basically at a lethal amount of infection already. When I say lethal malice infection, if it'll take down, you'll be dead. Of course, it's not going to get to that point because we actually have a very good damage too. I don't even need to do upgrades on my thing, so. Huh. I mean, obviously, I just take powder. Powder's really fun because it can actually generate me extra passives. It's kind of hard to do, but I might be able to get it off. Because I have short enhanced, it's actually even easier as well. Bonk. There's just so many bombs. All I need now is a recombobulator. Rubble. Rubble when you have this many, this much bomb generation, like a powder collector and a house of slime. Actually sounds super good, so I'm going to take it. I mean, like, come on, I, I'm taking a rubble. Like, what else did you expect? <laughs> Rubble's just so good. Duplicate evasive maneuver orb, remove the good orb. Great. I think the best option here is somehow upgrade. Actually kind of crazy. Like, this is not the best all in my deck. This is. So we'll just chuck an upgrade. Yeah, I'll shoot this just because then we have to refresh immediately. Next. Don't expect anything much, but I don't need anything much either. Um. Oh, we have power collect, okay. We're definitely just at least fine then. Maybe even something more than fine. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, I was kind of worried that we could set off all of the bombs really quickly and then the minions would be able to do stuff, but... Yeah, he's actually just dead. <laughs> this was insanely fast. Sometimes you just have round runs that are like this, and you're just like, wait, is this class OP? It's not. But it just feels like it, because like this run has just been such a cakewalk. Uh, Seal Conviction. We're not really looking for the damage. Constricting Chains, we could consider it. Or a gift to keep giving when we have Powder Collector, House of Slime, and Rubble. Sign me up. Sounds nice. Shop shop? Sure. I can try it. I certainly do want the removes. Let's get some cash. Or maybe not. Because it probably won't actually get me that much cash. I don't have explosive, so uh, it's just fine to do that. I really want to send some upgrades on that rubble, but if I'm planning on doing this double shop, then that does make it much tougher. Yeah, double shop is just so tempting. I'm not turning down any of those, I see. Like, yeah, they're, they're just nice. Boom. Um, they're all dead, right? Straight up. Cool stuff. Somehow I haven't actually managed to find more greed, which is shocking. Like, surely one uh, navigation inflation or reduce refuse recycle or molten gold would have been pretty easy to find. Okay, aliens does change what I was saying earlier. That would very much... Oh, if I hit that I think I would have got a passive. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to hit this right now because... My... No. I'll literally always have the option to do it later. And I might get up reduce here. I might literally find a reduce right there. Uh, we're just full buying passives. Yeah, the remove would be nice. Not less nice enough that I'm not going to... Sorry, I'm going to take full passes there. Damn, I got a bomb. Oh, I missed it. Alright, I was going to wait for the uh, other... What are they called? Dark Knights? Eternal Knights? No. I don't know what they're called, apparently. Do just one before I set off the bombs, but apparently the shot had other ideas. What are they called? Cursed Knights? 
It might be Cursed Knights. I really don't know. <laughs> um, picking out re Reorganizers just for the discard is just pretty fine, I'd say. <laughs> like, even if I don't end up grading them, I'd say it's still just pretty solid. We're going to take a bit of health loss here, but we're seeing 179 max health. Oh, to talk more on why I didn't take Infernal Inga, by the way, because I feel like it was a pretty odd choice. But I was scared of one specific circumstance, which is I fight Resistance Knight, and maybe he kills me, or maybe he drains a lot of my health, and then I fight Crossbow, and he gets off one immediate shot. Okay. I mean, I'm still doing shot because it's that's just how the map works, but it's definitely getting a lot, ugh, a lot more odd. Imagine we get a navigation inflation here. Sure. Nothing crazy, but yeah. Yeah, missing out on a lot of uh, things is unfortunate. And yeah, I just didn't really want to take those ults. I felt like they were extremely low. Like most of the time I'd probably just uh, beat Resistance Knight easily anyway. But I didn't feel the need to take Inferno Winger. And let's be real, Inferno Winger is so strong that when you can turn Inferno Winger, you should. That's just a nice mantra to have. Because you don't want to take something that's uh, OP every single time you see it. Just 80% of the time. I get more refreshes if I shoot my reorganizer. So I'll shoot the reorganizer. Oh, I even have scaling. I forgot that I had a uh, refresher course. That's uh, pretty nuts. 70 health left. It's like, look at that, 215 max health. <laughs> It's a very fair amount to have, and there's a vitamin C or a perfected reactant. Both of them are really decent, but I'm just going to take vitamin C because that's a lot of dodge. Um, cool. Let's collect my cash. I mean, yeah, ideally I could somehow hit that. It's kind of hard to hit. I did just set it up though. 227 cash. Somehow we actually got enough cash. Shocking. Without even navigation inflation. Another elite? Oh, I'm, I'm blessed. Alright, 100% uh, going to be upgrading my <laughs> rubble. My deck is very cursed. That is a lot of level 1. Okay, talk about very cursed. He just dies. <laughs> that was the first shot. <laughs> I guess that, that's the real maze for you, right? It's just gonna do that. I still have one more fight. Oh my god, I still have one more fight. It's not even over for them yet. Just just let them, <laughs> let them have this. I feel kind of bad. Sure. 321 cash, by the way. Somehow we actually find a double shop with all of the orbs that I've added to my deck. Kind of crazy. Oh, there's my duplication station prop. Unfortunate. I probably could have one-shot Coin Dragon with a good map with my instant duplication station prop. But now I'm probably going to have to rely on stuff like a level 3 rubble. So why not have two of them in my deck? And in case you didn't notice, I still have 278 cash left over, like, uh, hello? <laughs> Don't mind if I do- oh. Those two are big, the rest doesn't really matter at all. And I can still buy it, oh wow. Did not expect that much. Uh, this was hilarious. I'm actually really happy to know that the um, Bombulet Bombaton works the way you want it to. That's really nice. Uh, Enhance should not. Yeah. I thought it was going to get us out of there. Unfortunately it didn't. The good news is this one will not do it because I didn't do it. Damn. Alright, well, we know what the fate of this coin dragon is then. Just finish this shot please. There's only one thing that can be done. Oh my god, just... Did you just kill him with the pebble? The level 3 pebble? No, but you don't 5,000 damage. That's like half of his health, bro. Come on, I'm trying to get the rubble to do some cool stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I don't have a refresh right now. We'll see what I can do. But without a refresh... Oh my god, it's a duplication station rubble too. Hit the refresh, please. Refresh. Yes, hit the bomb, hit the bomb. Okay, I got the refresh. Hit the bomb. If I hit the bomb, I, I just win, right? Yeah, good. He's dead. Ah, great. 
like the momentum the rubble gets off of hitting that bomb and the chain it had off of hitting multiple pegs. And I think it got a refresh, which may have given it more stats as well. Uh, just meant that it was going to be nuts if I hit the bomb. Yeah, as you can see why I wanted Rubble for this fight, right? Like, all of the bomb stuff I have going on with House of Slime, with Rubble, like, my boss passives aren't even doing this, right? Aren't they literally doing nothing? Yeah, Hagen Setch was absolute trash, I had a bunch of battles to my deck. Like, yeah, it was useful for Aerial 2, I can say, but I don't care about Aerial 2 when I've got this insane of a setup. Like, Soul Shaker grinding on Steel, she just grind me infinite max health. Meanwhile, Rubble is still going in the background, by the way. Just like literally infinite amounts of damage. <laughs> Poker Watch must have gone so many proxies to... Like this is just so much max health and it's crazy to hit it back to back. And then the insanely fast Bombula bomb on. Did we finally lose Rubble? That's so sad. Goodbye Rubble. Stopping at 1700 damage here, right? <laughs> it's probably like a thousand damage worth of bombs as well. Oh and then we had a times two damage multiplier from bag orange picks. Yeah. I think you can see why I picked up the rollups and why I love Rubble so much. Like, <laughs> it just absolutely obliterated that fight. We had all the bomb passives. Somehow we didn't hit navigation inflation. You get so much more cash when you have reduced navigation inflation and all the bomb passives. Uh, we didn't actually hit recompopulate though. That might have been unfortunate if we didn't have such insane damage scaling off of refresher cores duplication station. Uh, potion, sorry. Duplication station was also generating a whole bunch of extra damage. And on that shot alone, it must have generated just so much. Especially since, um, one of the orbs might have died, but because the other one hit a bomb, it probably got it back in uh, back in gear again. Yeah, we got so many passives. This is like this is why Roundel feels so fun. Like you play Roundel, you're just like you get this from like things just lined up so well. Like your rubbles were amazing. You got so many reorganized, which of course all level one because <laughs> why do I level them up? The level up isn't even that big. Like yeah, it's nice, but you're gonna cap out at ten times anyway, so you only really care about the damage upgrades. And one two on a damage upgrade is really good, but it's really not that necessary. Yeah, these. Just, you, I I definitely shouldn't have picked Cyclone. Uh, sorry, <coughs> Sap attack. That was just a bad idea. So I'm happy I didn't. But wow, it did nothing. Maybe it was Spare Day. But I'm happy I didn't do Spare Day. It definitely wouldn't have lasted the boss fight. And uh, the reason why Spare Day I didn't want it there is because uh, you want Robert being the old bouncing around, not Spare Day. Um, yeah. It's always nice to get good Powder Collector runs. Like, Powder Collector can actually do such insane stuff for orbs. Like, Rubble with and without Powder Collector, it's actually a massive difference. It's part of the reason why I love Rubble so much, and why I picked up the Rubble there and immediately upgraded it to level 3. And then I didn't get punished in this shop, I still had 30 cash left over. Like, <laughs> the cash in I had this run was insane. And sure, I did get the starting spraying service, and it obviously gave me a lot of cash. But I, you know, I mean, I guess it's fine. Starting spraying assessment, obviously, it's much better than a later spraying. But, um, yeah. It, it's it's solid, I guess. It, it worked out this run quite well, right? Like, I have to say that much. But I, would I have just preferred a modern gold? Probably. It's more cash early on. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it, it's definitely much closer than I initially thought, I guess. Maybe I dislike sparing too much. But I don't think it's that amazing.